You know, it's pretty crazy the amount of stuff you can actually do with a hammer, saw, and a small bit. Actually, a lot of carpentry skills. But what if I told you it's still not enough for my future plans? Anyways, welcome back to the Trailer Park Challenge. If y'all remember last episode, I went ahead and redecorated my entire trailer park home to be a bit more rustic, and I have to say, it looks pretty nice. Though we are still missing a few things, and we still need to do another thing on top of that, and that is getting to level 7 carpentry. As good old Chester here is only at level 6 and about a third of the way to level 7. And as soon as we're done with that, I really want to build up to the roof of our trailer so I can go ahead and finally plumb our sinks, making my life a little bit easier within this place. So yeah, that's my plan for this episode. I will also be trapping and doing all of that, but it's kind of going to be in the sidelines for what really matters. Actually, never mind. Having food and a sustainable weight is going to be pretty damn important as well. It is 4.30, and another thing you guys have been telling me is that the more I am hungry, the higher chance I have of finding food. So I think we should go ahead and try that out right now, as we're hungry, and I don't see any better way to start off one of these episodes. Having a quick cigarette on the way as uh, I am a little bit stressed out and a little bit sad. Also, don't mind all of the uh, false positives. It's just the random amount of twigs and branches around the area. So what do we got? We have a magazine, leather strips, stones, mushrooms, okay, and a fresh bushel of strawberries. With the mushrooms we found before and this, it definitely seems like being hungry is gonna be the best way of finding food. Do I get any seeds from that? Hey, we got seven strawberry seeds. Hold on, how much do I need to actually plant a strawberry crop now? I need 12, which is quite a bit, but that's still really damn cool. All right, it looks like you learn something new every day. And you know what? The more I'm ruminating on this kind of conclusion, the more I'm realizing how messed up this is going to be for Chester, because the best chance of us finding food is going to be by starving ourselves. So we are going to have to starve Chester for most of the day in order to sustain myself with uh, crop findings or just food in general. So I hate to say it, Chester, but you are going to have to get used to fasting. I don't see any other way. Also, that is two more, actually seven more traps. Holy crap. Today is going to be a pretty damn good day. Let's kill the zombie and see what other goodies we can find along the way. Idiot. We have a plastic cup. Another level of foraging. Hey, <laughs> that brings us all the way up to level nine. This actually might be the first series I reached level 10 foraging. Holy crap. How many levels is it going to take, though? 9,000. That's going to be a little bit, but that is that is awesome, dude. Uh, to be honest, I was expecting a little bit more when it comes to foraging, but I might be surprised at what I find now. Come on, game. I got a new level. Uh, you know, show me something that makes this entire grind set worth it. Like like more cabbages, honestly. I can, I can always use a cabbage. Instead, we have scrap metal, more stones, a fresh roll of duct tape, another purse, which I'll just discard because I have like five at home. Lastly, we have a cold pack right in front of our house. It's 10 p.m. and Chester can finally eat. And right now, I think we actually make something nice as I got a bunch of mushrooms and I kind of want to make a mushroom stir fry. So let's go cook that up and I will see all of you tomorrow. Despite being a little bit sad and having a little bit of pain, we survive for yet another day. Welcome everyone to day 41. Wow, it is crazy to think that we've survived this long in such a small little pitiful area. And really, it's thanks to our foraging skill. Now, thankfully, our pain did go away, and I have another cure for our sadness. Though I am going to try to eat um, early in the mornings and late in the afternoons, so I can get the hunger bonus modifier to when I go out fishing. But yeah, we have ourselves a mushroom, radish, and small meat stir fry that is uncooked, but I cooked the meat already. I'm going to I'm going to recook it actually for the extra hunger and everything just in case because dying of food poisoning this this late 
play into the game would be terrible. But yeah, once we're done with that, we can start to work on our actual uh, skill set and not in foraging in the carpentry sense, because I need to reach level seven. And the best way to do that is going to be going around the entire trailer park, disassembling anything that I truly can disassemble, which is going to take a lot of time and a lot of calories. Both of those lead to me finding better stuff later. So yeah, once this is done and I can help myself do some delicious luxury trailer meals, we can go do just that. Oh, I need to also drop off all the stuff I found today. And also, I'm going to save the strawberries for tomorrow. That's actually really, really nice and a really good morale booster as well. Anyways, it looks like our meal is done so we can eat this entire thing. And holy crap, I'm still depressed, even after that massive, massive meal. So you know what? I'm gonna go help myself to the, uh, to the strawberry. All right, I picked it up. I deserve to eat, eat something nice. That is until I'm actually not full to bursting from the amount of calories, or I guess, uh, filling in it, because it's not really calorie dense, but I am gaining all of my weight back. So we are 77 kilos going up. But yeah, it's time to disassemble literally everything that I don't care about. We have all of the tools and we have all of the time. Let's get this bread. Level 7 carpentry, here I come. Oh, one last thing before I do commit fully. Uh, disassembling stuff is going to be very nice. Not really much for the planks, as I already have a saw, but for the nails. We did go through 100 redecorating the place and we are going to be using up a lot more. So that's another thing. I'll keep an eye out for. Okay, now it's time. For real, for real. <laughs> oh man, I've really lowered the value of this damn place. Also, fun fact, these two people that got involved in the murder-suicide have not decayed whatsoever, which is kind of cool and also terrifying. But yeah, we disassembled about the top half of this entire trailer park, and we have gotten a little bit closer to level 7 carpentry. We're about halfway there, which really isn't the best, but right now it's getting a lot more laid out and we're getting hungry, bored, and unhappy. So I'm gonna go eat my strawberries and we're gonna do a foraging run. Once we're done foraging, I can pick it right back off tomorrow and hopefully we will have enough uh, furniture to go around to level us up. I have been avoiding some of the furniture because I really like the vibe of like this table here, but if worse comes to worse, I might need to. But yeah, let's see what we can find with foraging before I get any more tired. We have nails. I mean, by nails, I mean a single nail. We have twigs, another box of screws. I found like five this entire challenge, which is insane. One zombie. Five more bird traps. Tin foil. And at this point, my foraging range is so damn small, it's not even worth it. Overall, we found nothing really. Uh, I did find two cooking pots within a trailer that I never looted before, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep and instantly start off the rest of the disassembly of the trailer park. Let's cross our fingers, there's actually enough XP to go around. And would you look at that, it's raining. Let's go dig out some more radishes then, shall we? But this time, because we have so damn many, I'm gonna bulk uh, grow them right outside my trailer home. This is gonna be the throwaway plant, so if these survive, that's cool. If they don't, that's cool as well. The one thing I will have is a lot of radishes if they do. Hell yeah. That's gonna be most of the furniture within the trailer park, and I have to say I am pretty disappointed in the results. We have gotten a little bit closer to level 7, but we're about a thousand XP away, which is still pretty close, and uh, while I was going through the area, I did get a nice medicine cabinet, and I think I'm also gonna go grab this uh, red tool cabinet in here as well to put inside my base. You know, maybe putting some of this stuff in here would look a little bit better than the counters anyway, though I still want to make it, but that's not going to stop me because thankfully uh, I, I, I wanted to withhold this, but we can craft stairs at level six carpentry. So my plan now, now that we're out of stuff to disassemble, is to build out the roof area and make it safe. And hopefully by doing all of that construction, we can reach a new level. It's really dark out and it's raining, so I doubt I'm going to get anything out of this. So we're going to go head back home and uh, 
go to sleep, I guess. <laughs> There's really nothing else to do. I will drop off my medicine cabinet and our red mobile tool cabinet just to spice up the place as well. Let's go head back. I am going to still forage just for the smallest chance that something big happens. The storm still rages on, but we have made it to day 43. And while this rain is going on, I really want to set up plumbing. So right now my plan is, holy crap, it's loud out, is to build up a staircase off the side of here. And once we get that set up, I can go ahead and place a rain collector barrel right above our sink and hopefully, with that, the water should trickle down and I should have running water. We do have the garbage bags for it, so I think we're gonna do that. The only thing I need right now is a lot, and I mean it when I say it, is a lot of planks because I'm probably gonna have to build out the entire rooftop over again so I can walk over it. So let's get some damn lumber. Alrighty, we got ourselves six four log stacks, which should be good enough for the rooftop area of the trailer. I'm not going to build in the rain because I just, I kind of hate the rain. So what I'm going to do is clear out a nice little path for our staircase by harvesting up these radishes, eating them all. And I think for the rest of the day, we're going to go check the traps briefly, do a little bit of foraging around the area, and lastly dig for worms because we are running pretty low on worms and I would really like to keep up on that especially with how productive our traps have been. Speaking of them, let's go check them out to see if I got anything nice. And speaking of nice, we found some broccoli in the middle of a thunderstorm. Hell yeah, with 20 broccoli seeds. That's... that's a lot, dude. Holy crap. And I have to say, that's gonna be enough to, uh, to set that up as a future crop as well. Okay, that's not as cool. It looks like we lost a single bird trap, and we also lost a box trap. I'm a little less sad about the box trap, but the bird trap kind of sucks. But from the looks of it, um, the twine might have survived. It did, so that means hopefully I'll be able to craft up another in the future. We also have two more birds, and now that we know those two things, we can finally go dig for worms. And then once that's done, we can actually set up a plumbing system. So I guess I'll see all of you tomorrow. And finally, the rains are over. Anyways, welcome back everyone today. Let me see. It's either 44, day 44. That is a pretty big monument in my opinion. We are six days away from surviving 50 days or one half of a hundred. And right now, while it's early, at 11 a.m. Let's go build out our uh, staircase to go up to the roof and to finally set up a little bit of plumbing. Now, I don't have enough garbage bags to go and uh, craft up two water collectors, but I do have enough to craft up one at least right now, unless I get lucky with foraging once again. So right now, we're gonna build up with the stairs, uh, probably have the floor over, and the way you plumb in this game is by setting up a rain collector one tile directly above the sink. And by doing that, the, the, the rain water collected from the water collector can trickle down into the sink. So hopefully this goes off without a hitch. We got the wood, so let's go build up that staircase. Now this is Chester's first staircase, so I'm a little bit worried that he might bungle it, but I have faith in him, yeah. Let's go saw these bad boys up now. Giving me 72 planks. Yeah, we're gonna have way more than enough, dude. Let's go load it up and slap this staircase down. Right there. It's a little bit janky with how it looks, but it's the best one that goes seamless with the trailer. And now to answer a question, do I fall through? No, okay, I will fall through the second half here, but surprisingly, the first half of this trailer is floored in. But yes, if I were to walk forward one more tile, but, oh, never mind. It is all floored down. Okay. That is what I love to see. That made my life so much easier. I was extremely worried I would have fallen through the roof and I would have needed to tile everything in. Damn, that really expedites things because now all I need to do is grab some planks 
And we already have our garbage bags. I think I need around four. We'll grab five just in case. And I just have to align the sink with the uh, water collector, which I think it's going to be two off of the uh, wall here. Crossing my fingers, begging, pleading, because I only get one chance to do this. Now, another sad thing about not reaching level 7 carpentry is I can't build the really good rain collector barrel, but I can build the slightly terrible one, one off of here. And by doing that, we should have ourselves a plumbed sink. Now, all I have to do is test it, and the way we're going to test it is by grabbing a quick little bucket, uh, filling it up with some sort of water, and seeing if it can uh, be transferred through. I don't think it's going to purify the water, but it is going to make my life of collecting water a lot easier. The only problem is how janky it looks with the clipping of the uh, <laughs> of the fence line. Nothing I can really do about that, though, but let's see it. Bam, water's in, and if I were to go down to the sink, look at that. I need a pipe wrench to do this. I should have one, right? Oh my god, I do. <laughs> oh, blessed be that survivor. Oh man. <laughs> Let's go plumb that bad boy up. Holy crap, that was scary. But bam, we have ourselves a, a plumbed sink. Now the question is, is the water purified? Holy crap, it is. That is is pretty damn huge oh dude dude even when we aren't given that much we have jumped leaps and bounds over to new pastures and i think this is going to be a good spot to end the episode we are 1000 xp away from getting level 7 carpentry i honestly might set up some temporary crates just to you know build it up and i think next episode we're gonna try to make the rooftop of this trailer look a little bit better, and mainly we're gonna be looking out for more crops. Now I will say we are running out of things to do once again, but we might find something cool in the future. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. Holy crap, we actually have running water. Chester, you're a damn genius. Peace out everyone.